Hey, welcome back to another video. My name is Brian Watson, the president of the Watson Housekeeping Group, servicing the Baltimore, Maryland, Washington, D.C., and Northern Virginia area. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about what fees you should probably be charging your Airbnb clients. Let's get into it. All right, so when you're thinking about what fees you should charge and what fees you shouldn't charge, you have to keep in mind of how Airbnb works. You have guests that book a space, they come stay, they come check out. Now, guests can book at any time. They can book months in advance, weeks in advance, days in advance, or the day of. And that's not really something that a host can control. So you have to keep that in mind when you're doing your fees. So one of the fees that you should be charging is a cancellation fee. But you can't just charge a cancellation fee when a host cancels. Most times they don't have control over when a guest cancels a reservation. So say for example, you have a clean on your schedule that's been on there for about a week now. And then the day before the host sends you a message saying, hey, this guest canceled, you know, we don't need to clean for that day. So at that particular time, I wouldn't charge a cancellation fee because that's something that's out of their control. And all that they can do is communicate that with me. Yes, it took a space on my calendar, but that's just the nature of the industry. Now, say for example, the host knew that the guests never checked in, so no cleaning is needed. However, they waited until either you were already in route or at the property to tell you that the guests never checked in. At that time, I would charge them a cancellation fee because at that point, it's now become an inconvenience for you. You've already spent time and you spent gas to travel to their property to do a turnover and no turnover is needed. So you just wasted time. So when you're charging a cancellation fee, you generally want to charge a cancellation fee when there's a lack of communication from the host in a timely manner. All right. So another fee that you may want to charge for is if a guest completely trashes the place, leaves trash and dirt and stuff everywhere. I mean, food all over the place. Uh, the beds are completely messy and stuff like that. When it's going to take you a lot longer than it normally would take you to clean. So for example, if it takes you, if you know it takes you two hours, to do a turnover and it ends up taking you five or six hours to do that same turnover, then you need to assess an excessive cleaning fee. And the good thing about the excessive cleaning fee is that the host can actually charge that off to their uh, to their guests. You just have to invoice them. They have to put in a claim through Airbnb. And most times they're reimbursed for that amount. So your time is very valuable when you're in these properties. You can only be in there for a certain number of time. If you're just getting into the game, you may not have a whole lot of clientele or turnovers that need to be done in the same day. However, you want to set that precedence going into the game. You want it to let it be known that, okay, I can only afford to spend this amount of time on this property. If it takes me anything more than that, then a fee is going to need to be assessed. Now, don't just charge an excessive cleaning fee if it takes you maybe an hour more or 30 minutes more. You know, sometimes that happens. You know, I have a property where it normally takes me four hours to clean, but sometimes it takes me five hours. You know, I'm not going to stress over that. I have built in a cushion to be able to absorb that extra hour. So the third fee that I charge for is a rush service fee. And how I charge this, like I said earlier, Airbnb hosts can get bookings at the last minute, right? However, if a host knows that they have a guest checking out on say a Friday and they wait until the morning of on that Friday to let me know that they need a clean, I'm gonna charge them a rush service fee because they waited to let me know that somebody booked. So even if they had a guest that booked on Thursday that checks out Friday, as soon as that guest booked on Thursday, I should have been notified that there was a checkout on Friday, not the morning of. So now I gotta rush, try to scr scramble around, or move my schedule around to accommodate this rush clean. It's not fair to you. So you need to be compensated for the lack of communication as well as being as well as having to 
adjust your schedule and rush and try to get everything done within within that checkout check-in window. All right, so the fourth fee that I charge for, and that's gonna be the last one I'll talk about in this video, um, stay tuned for part two, is when hosts ask me to do property management tasks. You have to realize when you're a cleaner, your job isn't to take care of the property, take care of the property and manage like repairs, um, charging cameras, batteries. Um, that's not really your job. Changing codes, that's not really your job as a cleaner. Your job is to clean and turn over the unit so that it's ready for the next guest. Anything outside of that would be considered property management tasks. So you need to be compensated for that additional work that you're being asked to do. Now, all of these fees should be included in your agreement, your contract that you have with the host. If you don't have a contract or agreement with the host, they at least need to be made aware of the fees that uh, you do charge in advance. You know, if you have been doing something and you see it requires a little bit more work and you want to start charging for it, just have the conversation with the host. Um, let them know that you're going to be charging this fee. You know, most times they can pass those fees off to the guests. So don't be afraid to let someone know that you're going to be charging a fee. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, and stay tuned to my channel. I'm going to keep bringing you more informational videos on Airbnb cleaning. Until next time.